Hi guys, it's me. Um, today I wanted to just show you um, our kiln room actually. It's in our basement, which is totally unfinished, so yeah, we don't have drywall. Um, so you have to bear with me on that one. But uh, yeah, I thought I could give you a little look. We just had a really successful kiln firing, um, glaze firing actually, and uh, I wanted to show you what just came out. So. Here once okay so this is our kiln room it's kind of a yeah it's a basement <laughs> that's unfinished um, no drywall on yet <laughs> this is our kiln it's quite large large and in charge so it's really good for big loads um, you can get a fair amount in here sorry I'll try and lift it up so you can see kind of what it looks like so this is the top um yeah and then that's the inside there right down to the bottom so you can get about three rows or so um layers so like these these right here are the kiln shelves and so you have these guys that stack and then you put another shelf on top and then you can stack more so this is what came out we're very happy now some of these guys these um didn't go in the glaze firing so they're still to be glaze fired but these ones here, these are test tiles to kind of show us like if we put this glaze with this one, what does it look like in the center? So that's kind of what's going on here. So it gives us like ideas on, you know, colors if we want to choose different colors. One that we're really happy about is this one right here. Uh, this is the one that's called Smoke and Red. And so mixing together is this one right in the middle and it just looks so cool it's kind of like purpley and yeah so we'll probably be doing some stuff with that i'm really happy with these guys um they're in order oh man i got such a shadow i'll try and lower it so you can see it better there we go so these are crystal mugs um they're gonna have a crystal in this section right here right, right there sorry um i have a number on there just to tell us like where it's crystal sitting we have a little case that is numbered so and it's perfectly fit for that crystal so it'll go in there and so she ordered two so we've got another one right there looks really awesome we've got a butterfly cup I'm so excited about that one and this one down here this is a tiger lily and it's gonna have a tiger's eye crystal on the handle so that's awesome. This one's going to have angelite with the, the butterfly. These guys are actually our kids plates. Um, the kids made plates. And so this one's Jaden's. So his turned out really successful. But Dylan's however didn't. And that's the thing with clay firing and glazing. You just, <laughs> it's always a mystery. You never know what's going to come out. So this one we weren't as much happy with. So we're probably going to play with it in terms of color. Maybe go more navy. We'll see what happens. So we'll have to put that one in uh, firing again with another glaze on top of it and see how they work together. And this is something that my son Dylan made as well. One of his dinosaur creations. Behind it we have a nice another crystal mug. It's kind of almost like Egyptian style type of eye. I'm really happy about that. So it's a crystal mug. Um, Here's another one. I'll just move some stuff over. They're all made a, a dove right there. So that'll be quite nice. It's uh, The handles, however, didn't get glazed the greatest. Sorry about the shadow. So we're not like super happy about that, but you know, that's the way it goes. And with this, uh, we'll, uh, we're going to redo this one, I think. Because we don't like that and it's not an order so we can just we have time um yeah here's some others so this one's actually these three back here are orders again we've got the handle not going exactly how we wanted it but you know what they're consistent through each of them so where the handle's just a tad bit lighter it's a feather cup um, so what we're going to do is just talk to the customer, see if they're happy with it. If they are, then we'll send them. If not, then we'll have to redo or send them into the kiln again with 
more glaze just will take a little longer that's the thing it's so hard doing um, these orders because you know we have a certain time limit and oh my gosh yada 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 so and it does take a while to make these um, because my husband works full-time as well so yeah it's tricky times tricky times once I learn how to throw pottery as well as he does <laughs> then uh, then I think we'll be good but I can I can paint them and I can make candles <laughs> And I can glaze them. So that's that's my job. <laughs> I make candles and I glaze and I decorate. Um, I did, however, do one bowl, my very first bowl. I threw this one. So I'm quite happy with it. I think it's pretty sweet. It's just a little guy. See, those are surprises. That's what happens with fires, firings. <laughs> You always get a surprise. So that's the one I did. And I decorated it too. This one is kind of cool. It's like a really, really vibrant blue. So we'll have to see if that one goes. Um, because it was supposed to be a replacement as well. So we'll see. See if they are into it, and if not, then I guess we'll have to make another one. That's the life of clay. <laughs> Anyways, I hope this was kind of neat for you guys, a kind of a revealing, you know, we think it's quite successful what came out here. Everything's really vibrant in color. I'm very happy with the, the full spectrum color that's uh, come out with these mugs and, and bowls and plates and yeah, so we're we're cheering. Woohoo. Anyways, you guys take care and we'll see you on the next one.